We're back with the MBTA's general manager, Steve Poftak, and their OTR pop quiz. All right, we're going to talk about, about the lines. The orange line got its name because it ran along. Do you know? This is extra. This is even in the quiz. I didn't know this. I do not know this. It ran no. along Orange Street. That's how it got it. I didn't okay. know that. I had to look that up. Okay, but here is the question. The green line for its proximity to the Emerald Necklace sites. The blue line runs under Boston Harbor. The question is, how did the red line get its name? We'll give you the three choices. Is it the red bricks of the Freedom Trail? Is it Harvard? Is it a reference to the British Redcoats? Uh, I believe it. I believe it's B. It's Harvard. You are right. Okay. Spot on. The Crimson. That's why it's called the Red Line. The MBTA can be rightfully proud of many firsts. Which of these three choices was the first for the commuter rail? Free coat check, free Wi-Fi, free lending library. I'll go with uh, free Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. Ding, ding, ding. You win. Did he I get th everyone? I, th I think you got them all, you got them all four right. Four for four? Exactly. Wow. Outstanding. Very you good. You definitely have to come Very back. Good. We're going to have to make those pop quiz <laughs> questions a little bit harder for you. So in New York City, a plan was on, is now on the table to shut down the L train between Brooklyn and Manhattan for 15 months to repair tunnel damage from Superstorm Sandy. Would you ever consider a radical approach like that? I mean, not that we have been hit by a storm of that size here, but, you know, we've got some problems. Would, is that something you would ever consider, shutting down an entire line for a long period of time? I, I think right now we're taking a look at how best we execute the $8 billion five-year capital program, and we are thinking about doing more, more dramatic shutdowns and diversions. I think for something that reaches that gravity, we would right. have to do a lot of legwork ahead of time to figure out, is it worth it? What are the other alternatives? And how do we, how do we continue to serve Give that ridership? Give me an ridership? example of something dramatic you're thinking about or it, that's on the table. Not necessarily something you'll adopt, but something that you could do. Um, I, I hesitate to take one project and say we're, we're, we're going to do it. I th that we're going to do it and we're going to do it in this way. I think part of what we're doing is taking a look at how can we be more efficient in executing on our capital plan and how can we get projects done more quickly. Um, so in some cases, that is going to require diversions. It's going to require slightly longer shutdowns. And I think as we advance in that process, we'll begin to, we'll begin to have an idea of what, what we actually need to do. I, I, would, I would love for you to watch this. Now, now because, because the T is, is a service business and so many people ride the T, we'd love to play OTR's Ted Reinstein for you right okay. now. He talked to people about who ride the T, and he went on a field trip this week. Here's what they had to say. The NBTA has a brand new general manager. It's fifth under Governor Charlie Baker, but the only number the system's users really care about is whether their commutes are getting longer or shorter. Are they? We asked. It's unreliable, just kind of sporadic. You never really know what you're going to get. I'm a college student. I've actually missed a couple of courses because of the train. As a matter of fact, today, the train broke down uh, at Boylston and had to walk the rest of the way there. And you're a regular rider? Yes. And no improvement, you would say? No. I would say it's not gotten worse. Not gotten worse? Yeah, it works well for me. How about bad weather? Um, that can be dicey? Yeah, yeah, that can. But that has improved, though, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess the equipment they got, you know, and I, I've seen there's a change in that. Well, I think continue to get these new cars online. What would your message be to the new general manager? Try to do a schedule. Thank you so much for your patience. Do you have any optimism? I mean, if we don't have optimism, <laughs> what do we have? Not really have anything else to go for. So, a fair sample. What do, you, what do you think? What's your opinion when you watch that? I, I I understand what they're saying, and I you know we hear we hear the riders, and we're working every day at the T to make their ride more reliable. I, we talked about the five-year, eight billion dollar plan to invest. A lot of the things we saw in those videos. There's going to be new cars. There's going to be new fair vending machines. We're replacing signals. It, the, the service will get more reliable. We just need to push every day to get that capital program Im implemented and give the folks at the T the tools they need to provide the type of reliable service that they want to provide. Make, let's make this question personal. You say you take the T, you take uh, the MBTA. How often when you take the system in the morning, and you say you take it most days, right? Yep. How, how often do you think it breaks down or there's a delay or something happens that really pushes you back as far as your schedule is concerned? I've been lucky enough thus far that I haven't encountered a delay. Um, obviously, I, um, I haven't encountered a delay during my time at the T. Um, you know, I obviously I'm aware that delays occur, and, you know, and I think that's something we're working on. But uh, thus far, my rush hour has been, uh, my rush hour commute has been pretty good. Do you yep. think you're unique in that <laughs> sense, or uh, do you think uh, it's 
pretty much the same for everybody. No, I, I, you know, I understand that there, that you know, there are gap, there are problems with with service, and w the T is working very hard to provide to to increase that level of re reliability. So we are we are listening, um, and we clearly hear you know the demand. People are, are, want I, people want better service, and we're working really hard to deliver. I, that. I, I hate to bring well, you have to bring it down to this. Are you getting the funding you need from the state house to to be able to deliver the service that you need for people obviously that need the service? Yes. We yes, have, in, a, uh, in a word, yes. We are working. We are working as hard as we can. Again, on this five-year, eight billion dollar plan, um, and we 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 are working hard to put the resources in place to make sure that we can spend this eight billion dollars plan is fully funded. Um, we're wake, we're making sure that we have the infrastructure in place so that we actually are able to spend that on the improvements that riders. So you're want. not going to be asking Governor Baker or the legislature for more money any time within the next few years. Is that is that fair to say or not? I do not anticipate doing that. Steve Popjack, thank you so much for, for joining you. us on the record this morning and, and doing so fabulously. For, for a rookie performing on the OTR Pop Quiz 4 He for did four, pretty well. He did very, very smashed well. smashed it out of the park. That's great. You. Great to see you, Steve. Thank you. All right, thanks again to Steve Popjack. The roundtable is next. Boston's Mayor Marty Walsh celebrating a Boston boom in his State of the City address. But what about his road trip to Washington with the governor? We'll talk about that straight ahead.